Well, you've done it. Well done, Willie. And uh, of course, you you did it on Henbit, and that was a faster time than Henbit. How do you compare the two horses? This is faster than Henbit. Yes, faster. Really? Just faster. Oh, I wouldn't have said that. Uh, oh yeah, the clock's tell better than I can. Well, Willie, you've done the double. Many congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank Back you very now much. to Ken Butler. And Dick Hollingsworth, the owner, not only did you get a very nice prize for winning that, but he also collects a, a Phillies premium. Both the first two collect Phillies premiums. They were owned and bred in this country. He gets an extra £4,900, so it pays to breed Phillies and keep them in England if you can. Well, that's it from uh, Epsom this afternoon. Incidentally, Bruff Scott's on parade at Pease Lake near Dorking tomorrow afternoon, giving pony rides in April day to the local school charities. If you're in that area, do go along and you'll give you a pony ride if you fancy that. That's all we've got from Epsom. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Find a winner or two. Time for me to say goodbye to you from Epsom and return you to Dickie Davies in the studio. Yes, the end of a marvellous four-day stint. I hope that you've enjoyed our presentation from the summer meeting there. Our thanks to Ken and the boys there today and also to John Oakesy and everybody at Catrick. Now, at the end of next week, our ITV racing cameras will be at Sandown for three races starting at 2.25 on Friday and then sharing uh, an ITV7 with York on Saturday in Word of Sport. Can I just bring you right up to date of the first test at Trent Bridge? Uh, the West Indies were all out for 308. That meant a first innings lead of 45. England in the second innings are 7 for 2. Graham Gooch was run out for 27. Tavery out, caught Richards Bogan for 4. And at the moment, Boycott is 24 not out. Woolmer has yet to score. England 70 for 2. That means they now lead uh, by 25 with 8 wickets standing. We're going to take a short break. Then we'll be going live to Wembley for the Schoolboy International, England versus Scotland. That's next on Word of Sport. a biscuit base instead of pastry. No baking, just add an egg to the lemon. It's very quick and easy. But the flavor, ah, the flavor. It reminds people of home. Royal lemon pie mix, just like mother used to make. Next time, Ask for a pint of dry blackthorn cider from Taunton. You'll enjoy a cider that's been blended, fermented, and then matured in oak. Strong, refreshing, dry and full-flavoured. Ask for a pint of dry blackthorn cider from the Taunton Cider Company. Darling, been trying to call you all day. The most successful oil field in the North Sea. Is it American? One of the world's biggest shipping fleets. Is it Greek? Pioneers of the most ambitious oil pipeline ever built. Were they Russian? One of the largest suppliers of animal feed to Europe. Are they French? They're all part of the same company. One of the most successful companies in the world. And it's... At this point in the commercial, viewers are advised to sit down 
or stand well clear of fragile objects. Well, actually, it's a British company. It's so British, you may not have heard how successful it is. BP, Britain at its best. Welcome back to World of Sport. Well, the schoolboy soccer international between England and Scotland is just about a minute away, so let's go live now to Wembley. There you are, they're all lined up. Our commentator is Brian Moore. With him in the commentary box is Ian St. John.